Hi guys, so I'm back with my August birch box and my Ipsy bag. Um, they didn't come at the same time, so I've already opened them. I know Ipsy was on the kind of the struggle bus um, this month for getting the boxes out. I know some people still haven't gotten their boxes, um, but I decided to fill them together because I like seeing the battle versus the two different boxes. So I will start with my birch box. As many of you guys know, this month was the finishing school month and this is the little card that came with it. Um, oh, drop my sample. Okay, so the first one I have is the tan towel. I saw some people um, receive this last month and it, it's just a small sample. I, as you guys can tell, I'm a little pale even though I'm pretty tan right now. Um, I'll be excited to try it. I just don't know how far it'll get. I've never tried a self tanner before. Um, it's for face and body. I'll probably just try like my legs to play it safe. Um, so we'll see. I also received the um, Fresh Feet Wipes right here, which um, I'll be interested to try. I know I work at a summer camp um, during the summer and I go in the pool area quite a bit. So I might try one of these after I get out of the pool um, just because it's never too much chlorine. It's not, you know, they're not clean public pools, all that jazz. Um, I also received a Model Co. Party Proof Lipstick, which I was really excited about. I actually last month was super jealous of all the girls that got them, and so I'm a part of a swap forum, and I ended up getting um, the peony color from a girl, which I really liked. This is the um, Disco Fever color, and I'll swatch it for you. Um, I don't necessarily like this color for myself. Um, I don't think it it's very flattering for my skin tone. So I'm gonna try trading this in the forum so it's not a big deal that I don't necessarily like this now that I have that forum to trade with. I also received the Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Oasis. It's in this container like that. It doesn't have a top as you can see. Um, but I like the way it smells. I've never tried oils. Um, so I'll give it a try, see what it is. It recommends on the card that I could mix it with my um, lotion. So I'll try doing that because I always put lotion on after I take a shower. And then finally, I received the Dr. Jart BB Cream with SPF 45, and I'll swatch that for you. You can tell it, it actually matches my skin tone this time, which is good, because usually I've gotten samples, I get them from Ipsy sometimes, and Birchbox, where they're just too dark for me and even though I've labeled that I'm pale I think people underestimate sometimes what that means so I will give this a try which is exciting um, and that's it for my birch box I will say that you know aside from the lipstick color I like everything in my box but I was a little disappointed in the fact that you know my samples just seem small you know this is a pretty good size BB cream you'll get you know multiple uses out of it but these two I'm gonna get one or two uses out of them this is a small sample, even though people say that oil lasts a while. So I was just a little bummed with the size of the samples, not the samples themselves. And then in my Ipsy bag, as you guys know, the month was Glamour Academy, which I thought was interesting that Birchbox and Ipsy had like the same theme practically. And then I also entered myself in the uh, benefit package. So I hope I win that one. But here's my Ipsy bag. I received the Mai Tai Nail Teeny, which this is a full size, which is really, really nice. Um, but I won't wear this color. It's not my typical go-to, so I'm going to try trading this as well. So again, you win some, you lose some. I received the Noya Cherry Lip Balm, which I remember when the sneak peek posted, there was serious controversy because people were upset that your trade-off was an Urban Decay lipstick sample, which is worth way more or the lips, the chapstick, which I think just ends up being like $3 value or something. And I could understand that point as well. And at first I thought, when I got this, I was a little bummed, but then I realized, not bummed, because the colors they gave out for Urban Decay would not wear. I don't wear red lipstick. Um, I'm not a huge, bright pink lipstick person. So in hindsight, I don't, I don't care. This is a good chapstick, I'll be fine with this. Um, so I'm happier now when I reflect on that than when I first saw it. I also received the um, Charcoal Facial Scrub. People have been really excited about um, Michael Todd, and I haven't heard of them before. It's a nice, I'll swatch a little bit of it. It's a, it's got a little scrub inside of it. It's, 
it smells amazing. I'm really a big fan of the way things smell when I put them on my face because I know like, for example, the Kula um, moisturizer smell like cucumbers I put on my salad and that drives me nuts because I smell it all day. So that was a big turn off for me. So I like the way this smells. It's, it's, it's citrus, not like just hard lemon, but it's citrus in general, which I like. I also received the Last Booster Pixie Mascara. That's the wand for it in black. Um, as you guys know, sometimes I whine a little bit that they're not in brown, but ever since Birchbox and Ipsy have been sending me black samples, I've been trying them more. As you can tell, I have black on today. Um, I'm becoming a little bit more friendly towards wearing black. I don't dislike it as much on my face, but probably when school starts with my um, teaching position, I probably won't wear black because I think it is still too dark for my profession. Um, and finally, I received the Mika Beauty Cosmetics in this nice bronzy color. Got the seal still on there. Yeah, I'm excited because the last time they gave out, it was an either or, and I received some like dual, like pinky mascara, or not mascara, excuse me, eyeshadow over the Mika eyeshadow that they were giving out, and I preferred the other one better, so I was excited about this. And I have received, you can see that color on my finger, which I I think it'll go nice on my skin. I'm really excited for it. When I rub it in, you can see it on my hand a little bit there. I think it'll go nice. I received the, um, I think it's the finishing powder or I don't remember exactly what it's called. And I've been using that a little bit, which I like. So I'm excited to get these. Um, for me, the Battle of the Boxes, I did think is definitely going to be Ipsy this time around simply because the samples themselves are generous sized. I mean, this I'm going to get multiple uses out of. This facial scrub is huge. I mean, it's it'll probably take me weeks to get through it. Uh, chapstick, always a go-to for me. I love chapstick. That's a full size, which will last me. The Mai Tai, even though I won't wear it and I'll trade it, it's still a really good size product. And then my eyeshadow is a full size, and I like that. Um, so for me, it just, it just really comes down to the size of the samples because I like both samples. I like everything that I get in my Birch Box, but just the actual size of them is where it's coming for me. Um, I'll post below my value of my boxes so you guys can see them as well as links in case you would like to try them out. Um, I definitely recommend them both even though Birchbox doesn't always nail it the way Ipsy does. I still think it's it's a fun monthly subscription. So tell me guys what you guys tell me what you guys got and I hope to hear from you. Bye.